Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to B10X. Today we have an exciting topic to discuss automating VLOOKUP operations with macros and VBA scripts. If you ever wondered to level up your Excel skills and automate some of those repetitive VLOOKUP tasks, you are in the right place. Before we dive into the examples, I would like to mention something special. BTNX is hosting an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description box below. Stick around and I'll provide more details about this fantastic opportunity later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day to day life? What if I tell you that you are wasting 95% of your time while you are doing so? How so you will be asking me? Because you are not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. Now let's jump into our first example. In this example, we'll explore how to use VBA to streamline the process of looking up student marks. Imagine you have a data set with student IDs, names and marks. Our VBA script will make this task a breeze. So for this thing, I am going to take help of ChatGPT to write VBA script. So here is a prompt, write a VBA code that uses the VLOOKUP function to retrieve the marks of a student with 103 ID. Assume you have a table in cells A1 to C6. So this is the range of my table, so which contains ID, name and marks. The code should display a message box with the student id and the obtained marks so let's run this thing so we are going to copy this vba code by clicking on copy code now we have to go to developer tab here we have to click on visual basic so once visual basic editor opens up we have to click on insert then module here we can paste our vba script let's check if there is anything we have to change for me code looks fine so we can go with it we just have to close this thing then we have to click on save now to run our macro we have to go to macro then here we can select get marks for students one which we just created so we just have to click on run as you can see we got the output student id with 103 obtained marks 78 so rahul got 78 marks all right let's move on to our second example ever had to manually search for employee salaries in a large data set our vba script will automate this process using vlookup we'll take a look at a scenario where employee names and salaries are stored and we want to quickly retrieve salary information based on the employee's name so in this example whenever I enter name of the employee here in F2 cell I should get output in G2 cell with the salary of that particular employee. Now we are going to use chart GPT to generate our VBA script. As you can see here I am going to use this prompt generate a VBA code that utilizes the VLOOKUP function to retrieve the salary of an employee based on their name assume the employee names and salaries are in column p and c and you want to 
input the employees in in cell F2 with the result displayed in cell G2. So let's generate this thing. As you can see, we got the output. So I'm just going to copy this thing. Now I'm going to open Visual Basic. Now I'm going to click on Insert, then Module. Here I'm going to paste my VBA script. So I'm just going to check if there is anything we have to change. So everything looks fine for me. I'm just going to close this thing and then I'm going to click on save so i want to find the salary of arjun so i'm just going to enter arjun here then i want to find the salary here so how we can do that for that we have to click on macros or oh, this macro get salary for employee we just have created so i'm going to select that one then i'm going to click on run as you can see we got 80,000 so that's correct Arjun salary is 80,000 now before we move to our last example I would like to tell you that AI is transforming the professional landscape rapidly to stay ahead in your career it's crucial to embrace AI tools BDNX has an exclusive 2 hours workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. Learn how to upskill, boost productivity and future proof your career. The link is in the description box below. Join us in securing your professional future. Alright, let's round off with our third and final example. In this example, will tackle a more advanced scenario. We have employee data with IDs, names, departments and salaries. Our VBA script will show you how to use VLOOKUP to find an employee salary based on both their name and department, making your task even more efficient. I'm going to use ChatGPT to generate our VBA script. So here is the prompt. Write a VBA script that performs a VLOOKUP using an employee's name and department to find and display the salary. You have a table with employee data in columns C, D, E and F representing ID, name, department and salary respectively. The script should concatenate the name and department in column B. So by doing this process, it will be easy for us to find the salary for each row starting from row 4. The user will then be prompted to input an employee's name and department. The script will use the VLOOKUP function to find and display the corresponding salary. If the employee data is not found, handle the error by displaying an message stating employee data not present. So let's run this prompt. As you can see, we got the output. So I'm just going to copy this VBA script. So here I'm going to click on Visual Basic. Then on Insert, then Module. Here I'm going to paste my VBA script. So I'm just going to check if there is anything we have to change so here we have to change sheet 1 to our actual sheet name 
so our sheet name is example 3 and everything else looks fine for me so I'm just going to close this thing then I'm going to click on save so to run our macro we have to click on macros here we have to select find salary so this is the macro which we just have created so click on run first of all I'm going to enter the name of the employee Neha and she is from IT department so you can see salary of Neha is 82,000 and that's correct and that's it for now as we wrap up I want to remind you to like comment share this video and most importantly subscribe to our youtube channel for more informative content your support keeps us going and remember the btnx microsoft office using ai tools workshop is your gateway to a more secure and successful future check out the link in the description box for more details thank you for watching we'll see you thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one